Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy High School is dedicated to the formation of tomorrow's leaders through a Roman Catholic experience that provides excellence in atmosphere, academics, the arts, and athletics. Our vision is to be one of the most innovative, influential, and accomplished Roman Catholic schools in the nation. Good morning, Mavericks. Please stand for our prayer and Pledge of Allegiance. Today is February 7th, Wednesday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, may our desire to serve you bring us closer to you. Hear the prayer of those who work so hard to follow your call in this world. Open all eyes to see what is possible through you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son, and our Lord, and with the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please turn to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, Mavericks. Hi, this is Ms. Spears, and you're watching NBC News. Welcome back, everybody. It is a great morning here at McCarthy High. I'm Angelina Matetta. And I'm Emiliana Caseno, and you're watching NBC News. <clears throat> Today is February 7th, and we're on a normal Wednesday schedule, starting with I period and ending with C. Well, for all members of the Justice for All, there will be a meeting today, immediately after school in room 304. Valentine's Day is exactly one week away. Whether you have a Valentine's or a Galentine, FCC and the Ministry of Mavericks are selling candy grams for your loved ones. There are several sizes available, or you can customize grams ranging from $2 to $10. Sales are now through Tuesday, February 13th, and will be delivered on Valentine's Day. All proceeds will benefit the UVUM Sylvester Cancer Treatment Center. Spread the love and make a difference. And if you don't have plans... Friday, MHS First Galentine's Day Dance is next Friday, February 16th, from 7 to 9 p.m. in the iCatholic. All grade levels are invited to share in some good food, good music, and good fun. And for all those interested in participating in the Lima and Cultural Exchange trip during spring break, there will be an informational meeting tomorrow at 7 p.m. in room 212. If any questions, email M. Mrs. Spears. Attention sophomores, juniors, and seniors. The following colleges are visiting this week. Ole Miss today at 9 a.m. and Ohio State on February 9th at 9 a.m. Come to the college advising office for a pass to attend. And now on to Nick Brito. Sorry. Gabriel Lopez <laughs> with entertainment. With entertainment. Welcome back to Entertainment Maps. I'm Gabriel Lopez, not Nick Brito. And let's kick things off by talking about the Super Bowl, which happened on Sunday night. The annual football game had a plethora of memorable moments, such as Justin Timberlake's halftime show that the internet went crazy for. The show also featured many of those famous Super Bowl advertisements, this year's most popular being the ads for Tide, which featured David Harbour from Stranger Things popping up in various ads throughout the game. The game also featured many movie trailers, such as a brand new trailer for Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, Solo, A Star Wars Story, and The Avengers Infinity War. The biggest surprise movie trailer of the night was for The Cloverfield Paradox, the third installment of the sci-fi franchise. Not only was the trailer the first ever announcement of the movie, but the trailer also revealed that fans wouldn't have to wait long for the movie, as it was going to be released on Netflix later that night. Unfortunately, the four hour wait for the movie was not worth it, because the movie got panned by movie critics. Personally, I wasn't a big fan of it. It disappointed me a lot. That's all for today, Mavs. I'm Gabriel Lopez. See you next time.
And now we have some of our lovely soccer ladies to chat about a little bit about regional semifinals at St. Thomas. And Carlos Soto is here to chat about the basketball game. Right after we talk about the girls for the soccer. Hi guys, please come out and support the Lady Mavericks varsity soccer team as we play St. Thomas at 7 for our district semifinal game. Hey Mavericks, we're offering a free spirit bus. I repeat, free. Please come. You can get the forms from any soccer girl or any or student services. Please return them to student services. All right, well, thank you guys for that. And now let's move on to Carlos Soto with the, about the basketball game. Let me see this. All right, so guys, we play tonight at 7.30 tonight against American Heritage. Please come out and support us. You know, it's gonna be an intense game. It's either it's win or go home, and we would love to see you guys there. So, thanks. <clears throat> well, thank you, Carla. You're welcome. And what makes the third quarter go by fast? Lent, of course. But Lent is more than just a season of fasting. If you're tired of giving up sweets every year, you're invited to attend the next Seek meeting. It's going to be like a mini retreat. Come and discover how you can let this Lenten season transform your life. The Seek meeting will take place this February. 9th after school in room 105. See Ms. Pesek for more info. <clears throat> and now let's take a look at what's happening down in the kitchen. In addition to our daily subs and salads, we will have a creamy chicken, barbecue pulled pork, scalloped potatoes, onion rings, cheese arepas, and green beans. Well, that concludes our show for today, everybody. I'm Angelina Tetta. And I'm Emiliana Caseno. Have a great day, Mavs.